Hi everyone, this is Cynthia Grande and I'm an immigration attorney. And I'm also the daughter of immigrants. People often ask me the following questions. What is the difference between a notario and an attorney? And do I really need an attorney? I'm going to go over three things to help you with this. Number one is a notario is known in Mexico and other, and other Latin American countries as someone who has to go through a lot of education and qualifications in order to be licensed as a notario. That is not the case here in the United States. Instead, notarios here in the United States simply have to pass a test to be able to authorize someone's signature on certain documents. They don't go to law school, they aren't licensed um, as attorneys, and uh, they can't give legal advice. So be very careful because notarios do not have a license to practice immigration law. People think that filling immigration forms, um, filling them out are easy and simple, but there are very serious legal consequences to filling out these forms. Notarios don't understand the legal implications of the information that you put on those, for, on those forms. So be very careful because although working with notarios may be cheap, it can ruin your immigration status forever. Now, should you go to an attorney? Yes, <laughs> we're talking about your life, your livelihood, your kids, your family, your ability to stay in this country, your freedom, your independence. This is like surgery and medicine. Would you allow a receptionist to do open surgery or would you rather have a surgeon do it? If you need help with your case and you want a professional, please call me. My phone number is 310-713-2334. Please allow a professional to do this for you.